I released a video a few days ago covering how to use Midjourney alongside ChatGPT and in there I asked if anybody wanted me to create a video on how to set up your own private server using Midjourney and there was quite a lot of people that did want that. Check out the original video in the corner somewhere now. So this quick video I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. So all you need to do is create an account with Midjourney. You're probably going to need to have a paid account to get this working the way you'd want. Then log into Discord and once you're in Discord all you need to do is come down to click on add a server. We'll select that, we're going to say create my own for me and my friends and you can go ahead, you can upload an image if you want to, so I'll do just that. We'll change the name of it, we'll give it a name of sample server for example and we'll click on create. We've now created our server but at the moment we can't really do much with it. We need to go ahead and actually connect this up to the Midjourney bot. And that might sound confusing and complicated but it's actually very, very simple. All you really need to do is go to the Midjourney servers we're going to go into something like the newbies room, it doesn't really matter too much, and you want to look for the mid-journey bot over on the right-hand side. Once you find that, select it, and then all you need to do is click on Add to Server. We'll click on Add to Server, and all you're going to do is choose the server that you want. You can see an external application wants to access your Discord account. We're going to say Select the Server, and we're going to say Sample Server, and click on Continue. Authorize all of these, and I'm a human. Once that's verified, you'll see that's now authorized and we've basically done what we need to do. So if we now go into our new server, inside there you can see there's me and also the mid-journey bot. So now if I want to, I can start to use the prompts. So if I can say imagine and we start typing and do what we want. Now there's another way in which you can actually do this. So again, if we find the mid-journey bot, what you can do is you can actually add this into direct messaging. And the beauty of this is it's kind of just connected to your account and it still works in pretty much exactly the same way. So what you need to do again is find that mid-journey bot. We're going to right click on it and we're going to say message. And once you do that, you can see that now opens up your messaging option and you can see I've already been using this. But that's now up inside the direct messaging section and again we can start using that imagine prompt. And that's basically all there is to it. You simply create your server, find the mid-journey bot, add it to that server and you can start using the imagine prompt. And you can also come in when you're inside any of these servers and you can start setting things up the way that you want. So let's get rid of this imagine. And let's do settings. Hit return. And you can see there's all the settings now that we can configure. So if you want to configure this up to work with Midjourney version 4, or you want to have the style medium, the regular upscaling, all the default modes that you want, you can do that inside here. Now, I'm not going to cover these, but again, if you want me to cover this in more detail, let me know down in the comment section below. But that's basically all you need to do to get things set up. And then if you want to configure it, forward slash settings on your server, and you are good to go. That's it. That's basically all there is to it. Now, if you want me to do a video on how to use Midjourney in a bit more detail, how to get started working with the prompts, how to create more realistic looking images, how to use photographs as the basis of your actual prompts and so much more, let me know in the comment section down below. But that's it. That's what I want to cover. All the applicable links are in the description below. My name is Paul C. This is WP Tats. Until next time, take care.